That's Horatio Pagani right there. That's Horatio. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today is going to be an absolutely insane day. As you can see, I'm in a Porsche full of garages. What did he say? And we were actually going on a Porsche Club America drive to Grand Teton, Wyoming, but we we're also going hypercar hunting today because Pagani is doing their Rodundo drive in Wyoming right now, and there's 50 Paganis, and Horatio Pagani himself is in Wyoming. So we are hopping in the Porsche Turbo, and we are going to go try to find all these Paganis. There's Utopias, there's Zondas, there's Wyras, all the cars you can think of, and even Pagani himself. So we're gonna go try to find them, but at the same time, we're gonna be cruising some Porsches, and it's just gonna be an insane day, and we're going to one of the most beautiful places ever. If you've never seen Grand Teton, Wyoming, it's insane. So yeah, we're gonna be hopping in the turbo, and let's get going. We'll appreciate the Porsches here real quick. This 964, 944, uh, this broke. You can see, took it off-roading. They broke. The target up there, uh, broke on accident. And Boxster, uh, that one broke too. So we're taking this guy today. You can see my new car back there. But this is the car we're taking. This turbo, I believe it's like 500 horsepower, all-wheel drive and it is a beast and sounds amazing. So this is what we're doing our cruising all the way to Jackson and back and going some hypercar hunting. So let's hop in. It sounds so good and it's so fast too. Hey, we just stopped to get gas, but check out this Porsche interior. It's really nice. We got carbon fiber on like everything and on the doors. Got this really nice like red accent stitching on everything we got carbon fiber steering wheel here i know it's really dark there we go that yeah, carbon fiber steering wheel manual transmission the way to do it and yeah this is just a nice place to be we're grabbing gas right now and then we got i think five other porsches showing up to cruise to grand teton with us so we'll try to catch those guys rolling in it is windy as crap out today so i am going to apologize in advance whenever i'm filming outside if the audio is crap that's why. So, I am sorry. So yeah, we found out where the Paganis are. They're going to this ranch in Idaho called River Rim, but they have to pass us on the highway to get there. So we're just gonna keep driving on this thing and post up and start seeing if we get like 40 Paganis going past us. We're not doing the Porsche Club stuff anymore. We're hunting these Paganis down because when do you get to like be here in Idaho and go see 40 Paganis, but also like go see Horatio Pagani himself and just like, it's gonna be absolutely insane. So we're going hypercar hunting. <laughs> First group of them. So they're split up into four groups, we were told. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna hang out here and wait for them. So we're hopping out. Yeah, so the Paganis are split up into four groups and they're coming by on this road. So we're pulling off, pulling the horses up here. Got Gavin and his Carrera. We're gonna post up right here, see if we can catch the Paganis driving by. So this is gonna be sick.
guys, we found the Bugattis. We did it. What'd you think? Yes! Dude, it was awesome! The Utopias look better in person than they do in photos. That's kind of why I wanted to see one, because I knew they would. But now we're heading to Carson Coffee. Have a nice Evo in front of us right now. Guys, we're here at the Porsche Club America event. Sorry if it's windy. Like I said at the start, it's a really windy day today. But let's go walk through these cars and check them out because there's actually a really sick GT3 RS here. Really cool Ferrari 4 s cab. Boxster came in. An old 356C. 911 Cabrio. Old 911 SC. 911T. Turbo S that we came in here. Gavin's 4S. This, yeah, this GT3 RS is insane. The wing on this guy is wild. Yeah, this GT3 is insane. It's the carbon fiber and the arrow here. It's wild. Full YSAT package on it. Owner says that it is kind of crap to drive though because well the owner's 85 and <laughs> just thinks it's a little too far of a track car compared to his old GT3 RS. They, he thinks they went a little too far with this car, which almost like I would almost agree to that. It, he said it's almost unusable because of how raw it is, and he likes his uh, 991.2 GT3 RS better. So we're here at the Four Seasons in Jackson this huge hotel but this whole parking lot is blocked off for the Bagani rally to come in they just finished their cruise for the day so they're all going to be filing in and parking up you can actually see we have two cars that have already pulled up there the other rally is all coming in so we're going to catch all these cars rolling up and just seeing all the Paganis up close they're going to let us actually get like close access with them we will catch a view of Horatio Pagani coming out It'd be so cool but yeah let's watch these Paganis come in this brown carbon looks insane. The bare carbon. This uh, this one hit a bird right there, unfortunately. This red looks so good. Utopia just showed up, so let's go look at this. Thing. Yeah, this doesn't look too bad in person, though, especially compared to this. But I'd rather have this for sure compared to that. 
Yeah. Comparing the back ends oh, no, too. Like, you know no. This just looks so much better than that car. Paganis are just one of those cars that are just, you can stare at them forever because just the details on them, like just the craftsmanship, just look at this. Just this bare carbon everywhere, this insane roof scoop, that interior is to die for. Just the leather on the outside. Won't do it. And just like this gold paint on the carbon fiber, they're just insane. So many cool details just on these cars. They're beautiful. And there's another one pulling in right here, so let's look at that. First group of Pagani's just rolled out, and now we have another group coming in. And Horatio Pagani is in this group, so try to get a just a just a look at him. You know, it'd just be cool to see Horatio just pulling up and uh, being here in my backyard, essentially. So really cool. But yeah, all the Zondas are rolling up. The Pagani's there should be another Utopia or two. So yeah, keep watching. Purple looks amazing. <laughs> that Mercedes is cool. Dude, the green looks amazing on this. That's Horatio Pagani right there. Utopia. I do like this bike of Utopia a lot better than the uh, yellow one. Just, uh, this is Horatio's car. 
Now this is actually really cool. This 500 SEC. Yeah, yeah, I This purple carbon on this guy. I think it already went out. So the 2025 Corvette. So I just got a mini Horatio Pagani. That was really cool. And yeah, the, there's a Wyra Mola that I just pulled up too. And then a Utopia. Got this Utopia right here. And this is just insane. So let's go check out this Mola. Yeah, so this is a crazy rare car right here. Kind of luminous. Yeah, this Utopia in carbon looks really good. Those intakes on the sides are so cool. personal car right there the blue one this insane bear carbon wire here this bear carbon that's green that looks insane with an orange interior kind of questionable but I always say money can buy you things that not taste and that's one of the few ones right there this Mercedes looks sick yeah that orange interior is wild this purple this purple sick <laughs> Purple carbon right here. Yes, please. And the bare carbon with black. Blue and black. This spec's really sick. Has like this like chromic blue accents with the blue carbon. This blue carbon looks all like the Senna's. Then we got another Utopia right here. Which I feel like what kills me on the design of this car is the headlights. They just changed the headlights it would be way better. But I also think the taillights just don't look as good as the Wyros do. The interior looks gorgeous. Carbon Zonda F. Awesome. Roadster.
Because look, we got a Ford GT Cyber there. So terrible. Cyber truck over there. Gotta love just a random Ford GT in a parking lot when there's full of Paganis. These things look so cool. Big fucking blower on it. Look at this guy. Come on, Ivy. Can't you see yourself in one of these? No. Oh, man. <laughs> look at this. Paganis are amazing, but. American timeless design, heck yeah. That's cool. But again, this is just a random Ford GT in this parking lot. Like, what the heck? <laughs> look, come look at the Cybertruck over here. Yeah, we'd put a copper to green shift color PPF on it. Look at the difference in American cars right here. I love the Ford GT, look at this thing. I do, it's one of my favorites. Which American car are you gonna take? <laughs> Gonna wrap up today's video. This Porsche sounds wild. Uh, hope you can hear me over this, but today was insane. All the Paganis were insane. I got a meek ratio of Pagani. That was insane. But I hope you <laughs> loved today's video. Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch it and spend it with me. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.